to the news. Uh, so today the the principal topic of the news is the migration, the facts and data of this problem. First we need to know what migration is and migration is a movement of people that goes to another area in order to search a better work or a better life quality. Uh, um, uh, uh, first we need to know the data and in the United States there are almost 49.8 million of migrants in Mexico, there are 1.2 million of migrants, and nowadays this is a very, very interesting problem and a very difficult one because there are almost 5,000 of um, Honduran immigrants uh, in the border to cross and get into the American dream. This is very difficult to treat. countries. So we want to know your point of view. Well, my point of view, the immigration is a very bad problem, as you said, that needs to be treated with all the countries around, so it will not affect more people than it does right now. So that my point of view that we need to stop this problem and to help all of them that wants to migrate to other people, to other countries. How would you help the people? Well, I would help the poor people with better opportunities at their countries. Yeah, so uh, what's your opinion about this problem? Well, my opinion is that migration is a very uh, important problem that uh, the countries face because people look for a better life because in their countries they don't have that quality of life that will tell us its point of view. Okay, so in my opinion, this is a, um, a very bad uh, thing that is happening in the world. So um, I think that the people should give from their part to help them. Uh, we have some proposals to solve this problem as uh, provide alternative economies to slow smuggling communities. Uh, another is to make illegal self-reports, more job generation, and approve visas and all documents for immigrants. These are four general proposals that we have. The points are related to this phenomenon called migration. The first one is poverty. This means that people have no work and has a bad quality of life. The second one is zero hunger that uh, the concept of this goal is to end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. And this is because they do not have um, food to eat. Uh, the third one is decent work and economic growth, since uh, they have very bad wages. Uh, they, they go from out of their countries. And the fourth one is sustainable cities and communities, which means make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. These are the SDG points of the migration. Um, for my part, thanks to the experience I have had in Hidalgo and all the information I have researched about uh, migration, um, I think that people who migrate suffer too much, and this is a risky way to have a better life. Um, even so, I think that the governments that suffer most from this problem um, need to be restructured in order to have a better country and that their people live in good conditions. Uh, well, in, in conclusion, in my opinion, it is something that people should not live. I think that migration is a very big phenomenon that humanity faces. That's why I think that people, humanity, needs to show its human instinct and help other people, give a hand to them, because we don't know the situation that they are passing through. So, in my opinion, we must collaborate for making the, their lives easy and easier. Um, for me, in conclusion, um, these situations must be dealt with 
the people of the high command so it can be reduced and have a very good conclusion and to have a very positive uh, way in their countries. Conclusions are that immigration is nowadays one of the worst and most important problems. Um, it, this is something that is happening all around the world. Most of the migrants went out, went out of its country for looking for better life conditions. Also, I think that we must understand and take into account that we're humans no matter what, and independently of our culture or our nation, we have the same rights, and no one deserves the bad things these people do as recipients. mil dólares y todo para llegar allá. Un poquito más alto, que yo no escucho tanto. Uh, sabiendo que todo el gasto que tuvieron que hacer para llegar a los Estados Unidos, ¿creen que si ese dinero lo hubieran como hecho como inversión aquí en México para ayudar al parque o en la comunidad, hubiera tenido mejores consecuencias o peores? Yo digo que este, es lo que estamos viendo, es que que hay muchos jóvenes o muchos, todavía mucha gente de aquí del Alberto que se van para allá, pero ahora ya no pagan tres mil dólares, ya pagan 16 mil dólares. Entonces, este, pues yo creo que siempre hemos dicho que este, a lo mejor este, invirtiendo ese dinero aquí en México nos iría mejor, pero también estamos muy conscientes y que necesitamos de, a lo mejor de mucho apoyo de nuestros gobernantes que, que a veces este, desgraciadamente no los tenemos si nosotros o sí, sí lo, lo conocemos no sé si aquí en México está la bestia no es de que sale de, de este, Chiapas para, para la frontera pero no sé si sea la, la bestia pero este nos subíamos también cuando nos pasaba a cruzar la frontera de Texas. Ahí cruzábamos, este, ahí sí no caminaba, no se caminaba tanto, se caminaba a lo mejor una noche.